exactly novices. Uh, I think we're called the nearly normal nine. <laughs> and they arrived in September, yellow sultry month. And what, and what did they find? A very accomplished group of engineers and managers, a very new organization, uh, not yet solidified, but uh, advancing rapidly, making new progress, significant progress. And what was it that qualified these nearly normal nine to join this lunar program? Well, they were, they were reasonably well educated for the job. And they were all test pilots. They were reasonably experienced with the job. And they had an intense passion for the job. And like all NASA folks, they would work their tails off. And none of them had the foggiest idea of what it would really take to do the job. Each were assigned some special responsibilities. Boosters, or ACS, simulation and training, mission planning. And each started absorbing knowledge about their respective fields. And they noodled with people that knew a good deal about certain disciplines, like the five gentlemen who just spoke to you, and others, Bill Tinton, Paul Kramer, Daniel Schieser, Don Stolkin, Arnie Aldrich, Ed Lineberry, many more, dozens of people with whom they built a strong, level of trust. They learned of the essence and importance of, of working as a team, and they began to fill in the blanks in their knowledge. They learned how the program office and, and the mission planners and the flight controllers and so many others all were equally important and attuned to a common goal. Well, there often were uh, diverse views and frequent disagreements. And then someone would ask, now just what is our goal? And someone would say, man in the moon by the end of the decade. And that often ended whatever controversy the controversy of the day was. They began to believe that they might just pull this thing off. And just what happened to the nearly normal nine? Two gave their lives in pursuit of the goal. One commanded the first flight of the lunar module and became the Apollo spacecraft program manager. And the remaining six commanded flights to the moon. And their successes were completely dependent on the great team here at JSC and the great teams in industry that made the craft they flew. And I often heard them say, in one way or another, that's the best work I've ever done. And that's the best people I've ever worked with. That's the way it was. And that's the way it is. <laughs>